Hey everybody! In this month's gel press video, I am doing my third in the series that started with grungy brick. And today I am creating the background for one of the collage pieces that I used with my grungy brick background. Today I'm working with golden open paints. I love the transparent paints in this line. I love that the colors layer, which you're going to see in the prints that I'm making today. And I am going to be using something we all have, which is just string. You can use twine, you can use kitchen twine, thicker and thinner, you can use yarn. I believe I have a video on my channel with eyelash yarn, which is really one of my favorites to print with. But I thought I would keep this simple today and just show you how a string can mask out a design like in this print. I printed on top of another print using just the yellow and it lets that previous print shine through in that beautiful little string pattern. You can also just pick up the ghost prints on top of another print and get a fine little detail you get sort of that x-ray effect when you do the ghost print where you see the outline and then the kind of void on the inside which gives it like that x-ray look that I'm so very fond of in gel printing and the two prints are really different. So I'm going to switch colors here to the quinacridone magenta. This is a beautiful color because you can actually get what really looks like some hot pinks on your prints with this color. It's, it will always be one of my pigment loves, all the quinacridones, honestly. Now I'm combining thinner twine with um, thicker string. Now I'm combining thinner twine with thicker twine. I also have one that has a little knot in the end, and that can be kind of a fun detail. And I'm taking this bright green print and putting that down on top of the twine. Now you really want to get your fingers in there with this finer twine just to really get how very detailed that string is. And that is so cute. It makes that bright green just pop out. And even as I pull the twine off of this plate, you're seeing that outline effect that you get with the ghost. And that is just such a beautiful, beautiful look. It's such an organic way to print because you can arrange the string however you like. And here you can see what I mean about the hot pink. It's so much fun. So here's one with the outline detail. And then there's one with the mask that's less detailed. So I'm going to just air dry this a little bit and see if I can pick it up and not just have it kind of spread out and not remain on the plate. We'll see if that detail works. Sometimes it doesn't because Golden Open is designed to be such a slow drying medium that layering this way is very difficult to do. But I did get a little bit of the detail in that print. So I think it was worth it. I was just using Adina Wakely media paint there to pick that up. Now the little transparency indicator is on the tubes of the paint. I do tend to work mostly with the ones with a little bit of transparency, but their opaque paints are beautiful as well, especially a few of their blues, which I just love. They have, and I can't remember the name of the pigment off the top of my head, but there's like this gorgeous pale French blue color that they have. I'll put it up on the screen if I remember to go get the name of it. And I just think you'll love it. It's a beautiful color. So on this one, I used the thicker twine as a mask. And I'm just going to take the print on this other print. So now I have two layers of the string, the ghost print of that thick twine with the very detailed thinner twine. So here are the prints. They are all 
completely unique and different. I do like using previous prints with this technique just so that they have that peek through color that I just absolutely adore. So now I'll go back to the quinacridone magenta. I'm not using very many colors today. I wanted to keep this pretty simple and you'll want to keep your paint layers fairly thin with golden open. A thicker layer doesn't print quite as well. And that just turns into a beautiful pink background that I will print another image on top of and that will be the one that I'm actually using today. So more quinacridone. I'm trying to teach myself the correct size of a drop of paint to put on there <laughs> so that I don't have to remove paint. But if you have just scrap paper for your brayer cleaning sheet, then you won't waste that paint. You'll get beautiful brayer cleaning sheets with Golden Open because of the layering and the transparency. Now this is the one you'll end up seeing at the end. I actually put it back down, even though I'm not gonna get perfect registration, I am going to get detail. And I love the layering effect of that. I think that's so much fun. You can keep this string forever. As a matter of fact, over time, if you reuse your twine, it will become less and less absorbent because it has that acrylic paint on it. Ooh, that one is so detailed and crisp. I love that. So don't throw away your painty twine because it becomes a better and better and better tool as it ages a little bit and becomes covered with paint and kind of impervious to that moisture. So I just have a little bin with all of my texture tools that I use for gel printing and I just toss that twine in there. Just make sure it's somewhere where your kitties can't get at it, of course, or any of your pets. If you have a chinchilla, if you have an indoor squirrel, <laughs> make sure they can't get at that paint covered twine or any twine. Now this one is a little bit more involved. I sort of wove two of these pieces together just to get a little bit more of that pattern on top of the print. And I'm trying to really get my fingers in there and make this as skinny as possible. And that is so beautiful and bright. I just love it. And now the ghost will be very simple and will pick up all that detail on a previous either brayer cleaning sheet or a ghost print, I'm not sure which. So now I will go back to this beautiful Indian yellow, which is the color that I'm using today, is a very, very warm yellow that I love using with quinacridone magenta. It's probably my favorite yellow of all the yellows. I love new gamboge, but the warmth in this color is just so appealing to me. And of course, it goes really well with any red. So now I will take a print that had some white space where the twine was acting as a mask, and I will print this on top of it. So it will pick up that little bit of extra detail, but maintain some of the white space. And this is the print that you will see here in a minute. So here's just the pink one. I will go ahead and remove that string and print on top of this one. So this will be a very detailed print because I have two super detailed ghost prints on top of each other here. Look at all of that detail. That is so much fun. It almost looks like a microscope slide. <laughs> I love it. So here are the prints that I made today. And here is the finished card with that little pop of white that I just love so very much. So there's more information on my blog about these cards. Thanks for being here for this series and thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.